Disclaimer, this was an incredibly vulnerable video for me to post, so please watch the whole thing before commenting and please watch it with care. But anyway, to join a sorority at UVA, you have to go through a process called Rush, which consists of six different days. Round Robins, which is two days long, Philanthropy, House Tours, Preferences, and Bid Day. I'll explain what each day is like on the actual day when it's shown in this vlog, as well as show you my outfits for each day. A general note on outfits, though, it gets progressively more fancy as Rush goes on. And then this is what our schedule for Rush looked like with the time windows for each day. You can see that it's split into two different weekends, the first weekend with Round Robins and Philanthropy, and then the second weekend is House Tours, Preferences, and Bid Day. In normal years, Rush is entirely in person, but this year with COVID, the first weekend was on Zoom. House Tours ended up being moved online as well, but Preferences and Bid Day were in person like normal. Also, side note, most girls at UVA rush as a first year, but you can rush any other year too. I'm currently a second year this year, and I didn't rush last year because I missed the registration date. Oops. <laughs> UVA also does their formal rush at the start of the spring semester, which is what this video is, but you could also informally rush in the spring and fall, but I'll get more into that in this video. But anyway, here's the vlog, and again, I'll explain the specific details of each day as the vlog goes on, and please watch the whole thing if you can. Happy day one of Rush. Oh my gosh. So today's round robins, which basically is one of two days where we talk to all of the sororities. Also, this is Shannon. Hello. <laughs> Shannon is who I'm living with next year. We're actually zooming from her house because she's got some good lighting. Rosie's lit. <laughs> her name is Rosie the townhouse. Yeah. Anyways. And also, I have a roommate in my apartment and I didn't want to bother her by talking all day. But yeah, so basically over the next two days, we're going to be talking to all 15 sororities and we get 25 minutes with each sorority. But yeah, we have breaks in between there's 15 minutes in between each 25 minute session but then we have like two sessions off so like my two sessions are literally right now like at the very beginning so i'm starting like an hour after shannon and then do you want to say when your breaks are it's tomorrow yeah in like the middle of the day so it basically surrounds lunch so i have just yeah. like an extra long lunch oh so also the thing is so today starts around like 4 p.m for everybody for me again it's like five and then it ends around i think it's 9 50 mm -hmm. something like up. And then tomorrow it's like 9 a.m. to then ending around 4 p.m. was it? Something I can actually show the schedule. Yeah, let I don't me just know for sure. let me pull up that schedule so you guys can see. Ooh, lighting. I look very blue right now. So we have this app called PM Companion. So here's like the schedule. So this just showed up today at like 3 p.m. And so you can see that my first two events I have a break, so I don't have anything until I guess 520, but you have to log on like 10 minutes early. And then so these are all of the sororities. Oh, my Pai Kai. The Pai Kai is basically just like somebody who like organizes your group and like will just kind of keep you updated. You can talk to them throughout. They're like an unaffiliated member. So you don't know what sorority they're in, but they can just like help you out and everything. So I end tomorrow with event 17 at 3.30 p.m. So it's going to be a long couple days. I think we talk to like three, four or five girls in each event. Also, so normally on round robins, you wear like a t-shirt. They have like like a black t-shirt that they were gonna give us this year but they changed it because of COVID so instead they told us to wear either UVA shirts or UVA colors so Shane and I are both wearing orange as you can see this is a little like dressy I have sweatpants on though underneath it just because we're on zoom but I thought it was pretty with like UVA orange and looks good with my hair and then here's the setup so me being a youtuber I have my ring light that I have and then I'm in Shannon's room and I just have like this little background I have my <laughs> my computer on a Pyrex box from my like kitchen containers and then Shannon and I were testing out our zoom because she's in another room so we we're gonna be testing out like the lighting and making sure everything looked good wait let me turn my volume what'd you say Shannon gotta get the perfect lighting yeah so Shannon has to go soon because she's do. gonna be starting this one hair this this is the death of me Shannon do you see this <laughs> Oh my god, do you want to pin her with a bobby pin? Maybe, I don't know, it's just so annoying. I could try recurling it too. Shannon to the rescue. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me just... Thanks, Shannon. Of course. There we go. She should not oh, be going anywhere beautiful. Right <sighs> Anyway, it's gonna be a long night. I'm not able to film any of like the actual process, but I'll give you guys the whole situation, what's going on. Also, so during each like session, after each session, I'm probably gonna be like taking a ton of notes, like just writing everything that I can about like maybe like rating them one out of 10, the names of the girls who I talked to, what they were wearing so I can like try to remember them, what we talked about, if I liked it or not. Just so that like, because there's so many to keep track of, there's literally 15 sororities. It it would make it a lot easier for tomorrow when we're ranking them to just like help remember how you felt about all of them and then so how the ranking works so we have on the app so right now they're just in alphabetical order and this is what we do tomorrow so of the 15 you give a number one to all of them and then you rank your bottom four from like the most you want it to least so again right now it's in alphabetical but you can just scooch them around 
Oops. But that's what we're gonna submit tomorrow after round two. Wish us luck. So we have our dinner break. I've only talked to two sororities so far. Shannon's talked to four since she started before me. I realized that I'm an idiot and I haven't been wearing earrings the whole time. <laughs> I like literally was like, Shannon came into my room when we were done with our like, like right before just now for our dinner break. And she came in and she was like, hey, like thumbs up, thumbs down. And I was like, oh, it's good. And I like, grabbed at my earlobe and I was like, wait, did my earring fall out? And I was like, wait, I'm not wearing any earrings. I'm just an idiot. I don't know, do you think I should wear hoops or studs? Hoops. Hoops. I always go hoops, I'm sorry, but they look Yeah, good. I think I like the hoops too. Anyway, to answer Shannon's question to you guys, big thumbs up so far. I honestly really like it. Like the time is going by fast. Mm -hmm. I think honestly the time is just going by fast because like I'm so extroverted, so I feel like just Agreed. getting to talk to people I'm like so excited and like there are some girls too that I'm like especially like oh I just want to keep talking to them but the time goes by quickly I don't know but also not for everybody some of them don't go by as quickly <laughs> yeah some of them are you're like mm, okay yeah. but as I'm like ferociously cleaning this pan anyways yeah. <laughs> but most of mine it's like I can tell who I see myself with and then who yeah. I'm like there's no chance, you know Yeah, no, I was kind of worried that like I mean I've only been to two so far But I was kind of worried that like I would feel kind of indecisive about it and not really know where to put them Because like first impressions like don't tell everything which is like honestly true And I'm sure I'll get a better feel as rush goes on But so far like I feel like from the first impressions that I got like I'm able to be like okay Like I'll put this then like this place on my ranking like high or low like you kind of get like an idea from that so agreed fully so we have four more left so shannon you're halfway done for the day Woo! <laughs> i guess i'm like halfway done with the amount of time but like i was waiting the first quarter of it and we're done for the day honestly not nearly as tired as i thought i would be i only talked to six of the 15 today so i have nine tomorrow but i really enjoyed that i like talking to people and getting to know people some of the like sororities were kind of like interesting and some i really liked and like it just i don't know just like so many of them had different vibes and i was just like really cool but I just like liked talking to people. I really love connecting with people. I just enjoyed it. I'm excited for tomorrow I'm interested to see how it'll go at like 9 in the morning I think I'll be good But I feel like just the energy overall will probably shift just because it's like in the morning Shannon, how would you rate your day? Scale 1 to 10. I'd probably say like a 9. Like I'm pretty happy with it And like I know like the sororities I don't want to be in Hmm. I know the yeah, sororities no, I, I, yeah. I have that have a chance. I'm like, hey, I have yeah. a chance, you know. Like I definitely know like my top ones right now, like the middle ones and like the drop ones. Yeah. Like at, at least from like what I've gotten so far, I'm like I kind of have like a good idea of like where they're gonna be. Exactly. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. We're probably wearing the same thing. So. Oh yeah, I'm definitely wearing this. <laughs> so yeah, see you tomorrow when we look the exact same. Good morning, happy day two of Rush. Day two, baby. Woo, so today is Round Robins, day two. It's the same thing as yesterday, but today I'm gonna be talking to nine of the 15, cause I talked to six yesterday, and then Shannon has like seven. Mm -hmm. And then I'm drinking my protein shake that Shannon and I made these, or Shannon made these, not me. <laughs> I did not do a thing, um, but we were drinking these last night and I didn't finish mine. And you can see my sweatpants in the background. <laughs> In the mirror. <laughs> it's like 8.30ish right now and we woke up at 7 to get ready and wake up a little bit, drink some coffee. This lighting is kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It's like the shadows are all everywhere. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. It's like an open window. I'll do that. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Ooh. <laughs> is that too much? Oh, <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> it was just like the exposure went like, hello. It's actually like very... Wow, that is. So Isn't it pretty? Oh, oh shoot, like, that's like great lighting. Yeah, perfect. Wish us luck. Woo! Ooh. Sorry, I'm so off. <laughs> yeah, Shannon has her protein oatmeal. <laughs> I'm just chilling. Okay. It's 4:34 p.m. It was a long day. I'm not gonna lie. It was a long day. Oh. I'm tired. It was fun, but I'm also like ready to be like ready to take a nap and eat some food. But we are we are over here ranking our sororities. So. It's stressful and everything is hella expensive, but it's fun. Yeah, that is it's really stressful. I mean, honestly, right now we just have to mainly focus on like the bottom four of the 15. Basically, the first through 11 sororities that are like your top 11 are all tied for first place after this round. Although I'm trying to like have more of a ranking so that I like know like in general the ones I'm really liking right now and the ones that I'm not liking as much. Just kind of like rank it in order just to make it easier for myself going on. But like for now, technically all we have to do is rank the bottom 
four that we have and then like everything else is typed first also look at all the pen marks on my hands i've been taking notes religiously because it's very helpful and honestly i'm really glad i did i wish i ranked all of them out of 10 i was doing that like for a lot of them but there's definitely a few i didn't do it for and i wish i did my tips if you guys are rushing is definitely write some like generalized notes write some like standout things from the conversations you had with the girls and like the ranking out of like 10 or something because it's just a lot to keep track of you know there's a lot of like new names and like greek letters and stuff it's just a lot to keep track of and a lot of sororities and i feel like my brain is just jumbled i feel like i am mush anyway we're gonna rank we can have up to 11 tomorrow that call us back and then we get our schedules tomorrow at 8 a.m Hey guys, happy day three, philanthropy. I'm not ready yet. I'm still, I still need to do my hair and finish my makeup and I'm still deciding on earrings. I don't know how I feel about these. Oh, <laughs> you can see the strapless bra there. I don't know if I should wear that or sh if I should go braless with this. Here's the outfit. It's just this like top I just got. Here's the back. Honestly would not have worn this for philanthropy if it was in person, but since it's on Zoom, I'm wearing like just like the bright colors and stuff. I had like a different outfit that I was probably gonna wear, but I didn't think it would like stand out as much on Zoom. So today's outfits are like a little bit fancier, but also I kind of feel like I dressed a little too fancy yesterday. So it's kind of like the same right now. Yeah, I should probably take off the strapless bra. <laughs> anyway, so philanthropy is basically just the day where all the sororities go through and tell us about like what they raise money for, just like through the services they do and the charities that they donate to and then I think we also just like talk to the girls more I'm pretty sure they give us like a little presentation on like their philanthropy and then I think we like talk to them about it and like just get to know them some more the rounds today are 30 minutes instead of 25 minutes so we haven't gotten our schedule yet we get it in like five minutes actually it's 8 a.m. right now. I think we get them right now, Shannon. <laughs> but basically, like, you can have up to 11 back. You dropped four yesterday, or you, like, ranked your bottom four yesterday. And if, let's say, all of your top 11 call you back, then you get those 11. If only... 10 of those top 11 call you back which they're all ranked the same so but if 10 of those 11 call you back then they'll move to like your second on your like the two three four five those like bottom four they'll move to the top of the bottoms basically and see if they want you back and then they'll add you to that 11 and like if let's say out of all 15 sororities only five want you back then you only get five sororities i don't know if that makes sense i think last year it was a max of 10 that you could get called back to and then this year it is 11 so it might change every year but it's about 10 or 11. Also, the first round is at 9 a.m. We might not necessarily be called back for 9 a.m. So we might like have like an hour left to get ready. We might have like a few hours until our first round. We don't know yet. We both kind of hope we don't have like a ton called back to just because like it would be nice to have a chill day today. It would. It really would. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, shit. I don't even remember which ones I dropped. Where is it at? Where is she at? Is it supposed to be here? In the schedule? That's where I am. It's not showing up again. Oh, there's some issues. Of course there are. Of course there's issues. Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. Here's the fit. I feel like I feel a little like, what's the emoji that's like dancing? That's how I feel. Texted me privately. She said, hey, your schedule should be up on the app now. How are you, how are you feeling about today? That's Aww, nice. that's nice. Schedule checking. I have a break at 9 a.m. Okay, wait, I have one, two, eight. Okay, I got eight. I got one, two, seven, Eight, nine. Damn, look at us. I'm pretty happy with what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like, like this is not a normal, like, usually it's like, <laughs> shit, you know, but kind of killed it. I'm excited. I am too. I have, like, a break, so I don't have to go on until, like, 9.30, because my first one's at 9.45. Okay, here's the final fit. Still in my sweatpants. I ended up changing my earrings, and here's my straight hair. Okay, so I just had my first round of philanthropy, and honestly, I really liked it. I didn't think I was gonna, like, I don't know, like it as much as I did. I think, like, yesterday, they were definitely, like, the top middle of my list, but they weren't, like, one of my favorite favorites yesterday but like after that just I really like them so I don't know I just really feel like I connected with those girls and the last girl I talked to too is just like I really loved her I don't know I think she might be two PCs above me so I don't know if she'd be able to be my big because I'm pretty sure it's like the like pledge class that's right above you so like the people who rushed last year get to be the bigs of the people who rushed this year and I would like be their little so I don't know if she'd be able to be my big if I ended up joining that sorority but either way like if we can just like keep in touch even if I don't end up joining that sorority I don't know she was really sweet also Shannon do you want to show your outfit change oh let me do one of those like tiktok things where you like show your outfit my earrings are from Carrie's closet my necklace is from Amazon my cute top is from Forever 21 my sweatpants are from Stonebridge <laughs> Soccer my socks 
are from Costco. Oh, we love. Hey, what about you? Um, you do one. Fine. Sorry, people, I don't know how to do this. I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm like showing some stomach here. <laughs> Ooh, look at that tone. My earrings are probably Forever 21. My necklace is for my boyfriend. He made it. <laughs> My shirt was $9 on clearance from Forever 21. My sweatpants are probably Costco, and my socks are also Costco. Oh my god, look at our Costco socks. <laughs> anyway, we both have breaks until noon. So what time is it now? 10.41. Oh my gosh, we literally have to get back on in like an hour. It's kind of insane. Because you have to get on like 10 minutes early, so an hour and 10 minutes. I think we're going to go eat some breakfast. I can finish my coffee. I feel so delirious. Honestly, though, like this is exhausting, and like this morning I was like, I felt like I was by a truck but like right now i feel like i'm living yeah it's nice it's it's a good it's a good vibe also the thing is though is like i feel like it really depends on who you talk to because there are girls in like a single sorority that obviously you're gonna click with more than others so it's like it's kind of just a look of the draw of like if you get to talk to girls in the sorority that you really really vibe with so i don't know like that's why i'm trying to just keep an open mind about everyone even if i didn't really hit it off with them during round robins i like that oh yeah just rose up. Oh, cute. You know, <laughs> oh my just, god. Like, <laughs> went backwards. Too. Sarah, do you want to say hi to the vlog? To the hey! Vlog. Sarah's Whoa, here. Look at my like <laughs> shoddy hat. Sorry, that was really loud. Jesus. Sarah just got back. <laughs> hey! Should I cut my hair this short? I have a little bob. <laughs> I can see it. No, I couldn't. I'm kidding. I love your long hair. Yeah, I like But you'd be cute out of the way. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Shannon has one more round because her first round was a technical difficulties round, so she has to do it again, which sucks. But I'm done for the day. I have to rank mine, though, but it won't be bad because you have to rank your top seven all, like, number one, and then anything more, you have to rank, like, two, three, four, five. But I only have eight, so I just have to drop one. But I'm, like, also ranking them, like, in on my own so that I kind of have, like, an idea of, like, which one's my favorite, which one's, like, kind of towards the middle, like, whatever. I don't know which one's my favorite right now. I think I'm like between two. I think it's, I definitely have like, okay, that's kind of a lie. I definitely have a favorite. There's also another one that's kind of creeping up. I don't know. I feel better about today though because like just getting to talk to people more made me feel more just happy with some of the sororities. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go to sleep. I have a 9 a.m. class tomorrow. It's 9.20. Anyway, I'll see you guys on either Thursday or Friday for house tours. It's on both days. I don't know if I'll get house tours for Thursday or Friday. We'll see. Happy House Tours Day. It is Friday now. We were supposed to have the House Tours on Thursday and Friday because of COVID. They were going to like split it up so that we could have them in person. But now it's only on Friday because they moved them online. So that is very sad. I was looking forward to just like getting to finally meet people in person and like also seeing the houses in person. But alas, tomorrow's preferences though and we're supposed to have that in person. So fingers crossed it stays that way and we get to at least have one of the days in person. So basically for House Tours, it's Thursday. 35 minute meetings on zoom now normally it would have been in person obviously and instead of doing like a house tour like the name suggests we will be doing a virtual house tour so typically they would like i guess show you around the house each sorority has their own like house where a bunch of girls like live in it and then i guess they'll just have like a pre-made video i don't know if it'll be like pictures or like a little video of them like being like hey guys here's the kitchen or if it'll be like literally them just like voicing over it i don't know and then i think also what we're just gonna be talking to the girls as well and just getting to know them more. We get a maximum of seven houses today, I think. I'm hoping that <laughs> I don't have seven because <laughs> I got some stuff to do today, but I had eight last time, so I'm like kind of thinking I'll have like three or four. Schedules are out, but Shannon and I still haven't checked our schedules. This is my outfit for the day. This is what I was gonna wear for like house tours in person, and I don't know how it's gonna look on Zoom because it's you're just gonna be able to see like the top part, and I feel like the main like attraction of it is definitely the skirt in the back it's cute but i'm probably just gonna stick with it anyway i just straightened my hair and did my makeup the earrings are from francesca's i just got them recently and then this dress was on clearance at forever 21 it's kind of big it's a medium i really should have like gotten a small but they didn't have a small but it was 15 dollars, so i was like can't pass her up she's cute it's just sad i was like really hoping to have like cute shoes and like go into the houses and like meeting everyone but Instead, they're just gonna see like the top little half, which is fine, but Shannon's fit. This was a dress that I just got for $10, yeah, cute. Yeah, shout out Carrie for literally like, well, okay, let me do one of those fit things, so. <laughs> my dress is from Carrie, my necklace is from Sarah, my earrings are from Carrie. <laughs> Socks are from Costco. Costco. <laughs> you know the Costco. <laughs> Mine are too. Wait, let's see the back, the back of it. Ooh, 
cute. I love the ties. Although no one's gonna see them, yeah, but you know. Exactly. Now we're gonna check our schedules because they came out at noon, but we've been waiting <laughs> to like get ready. So the earliest round can be at 1 p.m. and then they can go as late as 9.50. I really hope we have the first round off. I don't wanna. I, I like doing though. I just I kind of want the first round off so I can go like eat some food because I had a bowl of cereal this morning, but I could definitely use a, use a, some food before going. So the max is seven. I'm gonna say I got four. Honestly, maybe I'm gonna I'd like to think more about this, I'm but scared. we don't even don't see our old schedule, so I'll say maybe, I don't. I don't I honestly, I probably won't say. Maybe I'll maybe yeah, say I'll say like three. I guess this is stressful. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look. If she said, if you're having issues with the app, try refreshing or exiting out. If it's still having issues, then try to look at, at it online at your campus director account. What? We love the technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... I love that. My arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you schedule. Where is your schedule? Click on it. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> okay, got you. Okay. Mm. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. It makes me feel like this is not at all about like our decision. No, yeah, you're right. It's mainly like if they like you. It's our say doesn't matter until the very end when we pick between two. That oh, I'm so sad. God, I'm sorry. Wait, let me give you a hug. I don't want to make it happy, but no, I know really that's good. hard. I just don't know what like, I just feel like I totally saw myself in there. Okay, so I have the first round off and I don't really know how to feel right now because two of my like really like top favorite ones dropped me. I still have one that I like and I just hope that I can like stick with them. I don't know. I just wasn't expecting for like a couple of like my favorite ones that I also thought like I hit it off with. I wasn't expecting for them to like drop me, so. <sighs> Yeah, I've been crying. <laughs> Dude, it's a superpower to be able to cry in between rounds, though. Let's be real. Because I would not be able to get myself back together if I started crying. We so. go. <gasps> crying tears of joy, right? Yeah. Yes, because yes, we are joy. so tears excited that our top house dropped us. <laughs> Love that for me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay, so it's 8.25 now. Ugh, I don't know how to feel. My pie kai is gonna be calling me in like a few minutes just to like kind of go over everything today. The rounds go into like 9.50, but I have the last two events off. So I was just like, okay, well then I can call it like 8.30 when I get out of my last round. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna be like talking about stuff. I'm really hoping that talking to her makes me feel more like confident in my decision because I don't know, I am not super set on one just yet. Of like the ones that I have left, I think I know which one I like the most. I don't know know which ones for sure I'm gonna be ranking as my top two yet. I keep going back and forth. The whole process is kind of, it really makes you get in your head about everything because of how many people you talk to and just like the process of with the algorithm behind like who chooses you. It just is kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway, my pie guy is about to call me, so. Are you like struggling to pick the top two? Or are you like, you don't know what to, how are you feeling? One of my like ones that I've really liked from the beginning dropped me this round and I feel like I just had my heart set on them. And so now I'm just kind of like, like, oh, dang it. Cause I really thought I got along with them and had really good conversations. And like a lot of them were like, can't wait to see you back, like whatever. So it just was like very sad to see them go. It's hard if you really like a house and you know, you have expectations about it, which everyone always does. But you know what, honestly, like, I mean, are there other houses that you like this round like or that surprised you today i mean right now so i think like i'm kind of just unsure of i think i know my top choice but i'm trying to i don't know what to put for my second choice i don't know how like if you would even know this but how like likely is it that we get our top two choices for preferences do you know if they like try to like try to get you what you like want because at least with the past few rounds i feel like a lot of my like top ones have dropped me but i feel like towards the beginning i would assume it's a bit more of like a number game and kind of like just you see a lot of people but I feel like maybe like as you progress it might your your opinions might have a bit of a larger say so do you know if like your top two that you rank is like more likely to be who you get for preferences I'm honestly not entirely sure um I mean I do think that like definitely in prep your 
Tour decision is weighted a lot more. I'm not entirely sure about house tours just because it is a big drop from a maximum of seven houses to, you know, two houses. Yeah, that's so true. So I know, like, you know, there are a lot of people who are upset on fresh morning, but also there's a lot of people who do get what they want. It's really, honestly, like, it's so hard to tell. Like, I wish I could tell you, but... Yeah, like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I just want to know already. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so stressful. You Honestly, I learned you like people in whatever house you'll end up with. I really appreciate your help and stuff. It was good talking to you. No problem. Bye. Bye. I have, like, under three hours until I have to make my final rankings. I'm going to hold off for a little bit, just sit on it. I definitely have, like, a top one right now, and it's just, like, I don't know which one's to. So I just need to think about it. Oh, you already changed. I need to, like, I'm wearing my dress and pajama <laughs> pants <done>. still. <laughs> yeah, we're both yeah. done. So, Shannon. Yes, Carrie. Do you know your top two? Am I expected to <laughs> say yes? Because no. <laughs> Honestly, same. No. I don't know yes, mine I'm either. Serious. I don't know. <laughs> you know your top two, you just don't know your top one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I know my top two. Retake. What? Retake. Cut. Beep. Beep. <laughs> I meant to say, I don't know which one I'm going to rank first. Gotcha. Oh, because we have to do that. Yeah. Actually, no, we don't. Because I went to rank on it. I thought my pie guy said you think that she thought it was one, two, three, four. I look, it's one, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. So like the top two are tied with one. Oh, okay. So it's only tomorrow and we'll probably get our top ones. Mm -hmm. That's when we have to pick. Yeah. So you can still do your top two ranked the same. Doesn't matter. I don't know my top two yet. I know my top one, I think. <laughs> I need a shower. That's what I need to do. <laughs> My dress and pajama pants. Oh, way too many polka dots. Mia said, girl, you're done. Whoop, whoop. Congrats. Woo. Okay, I'm about to submit. I don't know. I'm overthinking this too much. I love how this whole time I've been so certain. <sighs> and then, of course, of course, now I'm indecisive. <laughs> I'm just gonna YOLO it. What's meant to happen will happen. I really like my top one, though. So I just hope that I get them back tomorrow. I'm just gonna submit. Here I go. Dang, that is stressful. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. Happy preferences day. So today is the fanciest of all the days and it's in person. Everything has been online so far, but today is finally in person. And of course it snowed last night. So there's literally snow on the ground and we're wearing our small dresses. <laughs> so the attire is like kind of cocktail dress. I'm not sure of how I feel about this like necklace earring combo yet, but I might just go with it because why not? They're a different vibe. I don't know. So I just curled my hair and then this is the dress that I have. This is actually my mom's friends. Well, someone my mom babysat in like the 80s. <laughs> This was her dress. So she like wore this probably in like, I don't know, the 80s or the 90s. So she's vintage. So I have no idea where it's from, but it's really cute. My sister wore it for homecoming this past year and got it like fitted. And since her and I are like the same size, it fits me very well. Shannon is getting dressed right now, but we just got our schedules. We haven't looked at them yet though. Today we get two houses back or up to two. I think technically you could have like one or even zero houses if you like no one wants you, which would be really scary. We're hoping that whichever houses that we have that they line up at the same time because Shannon and I have to drive so it would be convenient if we have to drive at the same time. At the earliest it starts at 1 and then it can go up until like 7 p.m. so your like hour-long windows at each house could be at any point through there so it might be at like one's at 1 p.m. and one's at like 5 p.m. you don't really know. These are the shoes that I'm probably gonna wear. These were my like ninth grade homecoming shoes, my like senior prom shoes. Actually I wasn't even a senior it was after I graduated when I went with Colin. I've worn them to like four dances at this point and they are coming making a comeback yet again oh god okay we should look let's check love the earrings with that so cute thanks shout out carrie for the earrings Ooh. oh woo. mine's at oh my god i'm glad i have the camera on right now because i looking back i'm i like if, the, if it wasn't on right now i would be i would be crying god, i'm sorry i think my solution is to just just or try to informally in the fall. <laughs> Shannon and I just checked our schedules and both of us have ours later today at 4.45. <laughs> we get to sit and wait for four hours now. Woo, shoes on and everything. Yay. Oh, that's a real struggle. Where's my <laughs> shoe? I can't even, there she is. I wish they posted the schedules earlier so like Same. we could have mentally prepared, but now I get to wait for four hours. At least we're ready. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to cry. And I think maybe I should just tell the truth about this whole process it's like it's hard enough for me to come to terms with what's actually been happening and how i truly feel about this whole process and having to like admit that to everyone else is really difficult <sighs> i don't know 
I just, I want to be transparent and honest with you guys. I just feel so dramatic. Everyone always says you're going to cry on prep day, but I'm crying right <laughs> Before prep day. <laughs> I'm crying before prep day, but not in a good way. This is the truth behind UVA Rush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my pie guy just sent us out some helpful information that I honestly wish that I had known sooner, but I'm gonna try to explain it to you guys the best that I can. So basically UVA has two different forms of recruitment. There's formal recruitment and then there's informal recruitment. Formal rush recruitment is what we're going through right now, what this whole vlog has been about, where you like meet with all of the sororities and go through the whole process. Informal recruitment is based off of like if a sorority needs more numbers, if they don't have enough girls, they kind of decide every year if they want to do informal recruitment or not. And usually that happens in the fall. It might also be in the spring, but I'm not sure. So like, let's say one sorority gets a certain amount of girls during formal rush. If they got like the exact number they want or a little more, then they're not gonna do informal recruitment. If they have some space and wiggle room, then they might do informal recruitment in the fall. So a lot of girls consider informal recruitment if they go through the formal rush process and they're like, you know what? I don't really like the sororities that I'm ending up with. And they're just not really happy with where they're at. Then they might consider to do informal rush in the fall of like the next school year which like obviously starts in the fall you could also just informally rush in general if you just have a specific sorority that you really like but usually a lot of people like going through the formal rush process so they can like feel out every sorority and like have like a baseline like that anyway so right now on preference day which is like the last day before bid day bid day is tomorrow which is when you get your bid when a sorority like invites you into their sorority and is like we want you to be a sister and you're like woohoo so obviously that's like really great if you have like a sorority that you're really excited about but if you're not then there's a little bit of a situation going on so on preference day before bid day you have two sororities left you get to rank either both of them one two and like this is my number one this is my number two and you are guaranteed to get a bid at least one of those sororities will invite you back but that's like a binding thing you have to accept one of those bids and if you end up choosing to drop it then you wouldn't be able to rush again until the next formal year because technically you aren't like in the sorority yet you have to be initiated which is like towards the end of the semester and so if you end up like dropping the bid and choosing not to initiate then you can still rush again and join a different sorority potentially but you wouldn't be able to do it until a full year later however you can do something called sipping sip where if you only rank one of them and you choose to leave the second one off the list completely you are not guaranteed a bid and so people might do that if they really don't want their second choice no matter what they could rank their first one hope for the best you're not more likely to get a bid that way if you do that but they might do that so that if they don't get a bid they're not bound to that second one and they won't have to wait a full calendar year to rush again because if you rank that first one don't get a bid from it then you are eligible to informally rush in the fall you could also choose to rank none of them completely and then if you do that you can definitely informally rush in the fall and you can like maybe go to a specific sorority that you think you really worked with but you also have to make sure that they have space in their sorority and that hopefully they would take you. So it's kind of like a gambling game. It's kind of a lot to think about. I'll put the document here beside me that my pie guy just sent out kind of explaining that all. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense than what I just said. Honestly, it was kind of confusing for me reading through it. So hopefully like you can make some sense of it. But the thing is, is basically you have to decide that by tonight. And if you are super set in your sorority and you're really happy with like either of the two, like you really don't have that much to worry about. But if you're in a situation like me and you aren't like too certain about the sororities you have left then that is definitely something to think about and it's just kind of a lot to think about given that I have to make this decision by tonight before bid day because you have to submit your rankings like tonight at the end of preferences if you want to rank both if you want to rank one or if you want to rank none of them completely I hope that made sense this is crazy this is so crazy this is the most miserable experience of my life y'all that's dramatic but <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think it's 31 degrees according to the car. So below freezing. No, I thought it was lower than that, but it was like a feels like of like 10. Oh, because there's like so much wind. We have our boots and our bare, our bare ass knees. I think if you're really, if you're really sure that you wouldn't want either one, like, you know, you could go through the withdrawal process. Because like, 
I'm not crazy about them and like I don't really feel like I'd fit too much I'm like potentially considering doing like informally in the fall and like if I decide against it like I, I guess I could too dropping is not a reflection of like you whatsoever honestly it's more of you know it's more of an algorithm thing honestly most of the time and like it's a numbers game especially at the end so I like would not take it too personally and like if a chapter is doing informal like and you are were interested in them during rush i think it's definitely you know worth it to try to pursue that so um, how do you even so, know though like if a sorority was open like how would you yeah so basically um after bid day chapters have they have a number that they have to meet for like a total number of people and if they don't meet that number then they are allowed to take more people right after bid day so like some chapters do informal in the spring so like it just really depends it's not guaranteed in the fall right. or the spring you could also informally rush multiple at one time because oh. it's not it's not like the chapters know what you're doing you know what i mean like you can you can talk to multiple chapters at a time what time do we have to like make a decision by tonight it has to be by nine but oh my gosh I yeah, I know it's it's soon. Yeah, yeah wow. I mean, Sorry, I was like thinking that it would be until like eleven or something, and that, that know, like literally know, like I'm... just over an hour. I mean, right now I think I'm thinking of withdrawing. That oh, it just makes me so sad to say. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you like taking the time to like talk to me about all of that and everything. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. I just want you to feel like you made the right decision for you. Thank you again. All right, no problem. Bye. Bye. Shout out Shannon for making this gourmet delicious food <laughs> to cure the sadness <laughs> happy bidet day six i think i don't know so i actually officially withdrew from the rush process none of them were really it didn't really feel like a right fit and with how expensive it is i didn't really feel comfortable just like taking the risk and the thing is is if you get a bid today you don't have to necessarily like join that sorority because you still have until like the end of the semester until initiation but then if you end up dropping that sorority you're not allowed to like rush again until literally a full year later and i don't know i just i feel like i wasn't super confident about the choices that i had left so I didn't want to like take that risk and wait a full year to have to like maybe rush again. Hey Sarah. Oh, I got Katie. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I don't even know if you heard that, but I got I got Katie. Did you really? Yeah. Oh my I gosh. I'm so excited for you. She didn't have to leave right now. So we're gonna go drop her off. I might try informally rushing in the next couple weeks because certain sororities will open up informal rushing if they have like extra spots after like the whole bid day process and everything. And then if I don't really like the options that are available, I might wait until the fall and see which ones are informally rushing in the fall and just kind of play it by ear. I don't know. Cutie. Look how cozy. Cozy and cute. PJs. Let's do a quick outfit. Oh track. yes, yes. My necklace is from Sarah. My shirt is from my uh, my closet. A <laughs> little. I don't know which store. <laughs> Anyways, um, my cozy coat thing is from Carrie. My jeans are from Carrie, and my shoes are from Converse. Woo! My um, this is from. <laughs> do you want me to do it? <laughs> sure. My crew neck is from the thrift store. It was like literally three dollars. These are probably from Costco. My socks are from Costco. Woo! Anyway, I'm gonna go drive Shannon to bid day. Then I'm gonna come back and grind on homework. <laughs> so I'm driving back right now from dropping off Shannon for bid day. Sorry, this angle is like literally horrible. I'm really excited for Shannon. It definitely was a little sad just like driving through UVA like grounds and everything and seeing all of the sorority girls in their matching t-shirts. Like you just saw them all walking by and being super excited. That was honestly probably like one of the hardest parts just because like I'm gonna be missing out on that since I'm gonna be hopefully maybe informally rushing. I still haven't really 100% decided yet. It kind of just depends on what sororities are doing it. But I like I'm genuinely excited for Shannon. I honestly am kind of glad that I had her to like just kind of like support because it was like really like nice to be able to divert my like feelings onto like my excitement for her. So like that was just like really nice to um, like get excited for her and stuff and it like helped me kind of like not focus as much on like my feelings. And I guess like the main thing is just like it stinks because I didn't get to rush last year because I missed the registration date. So like I've been looking forward to like that moment of joining a sorority and bid day for a long time, like over a year now. And I was just 
was like really excited to use that as like a way to like meet more people and just like have some new different experiences at UVA. I don't know, it was a tough decision, but like I do, I'm like really glad that I made that decision. I just got back by the way. But yeah, I'm like proud of myself for like having the confidence to do that and not just like joining a sorority just for the heck of it. Cause I know a lot of people do just join and hope for the best, but I don't know, again, just like with the choices that I had left, I just didn't feel super confident with that. So I don't know, today's probably gonna be like a very FOMO filled day just like with the fear of missing out kind of thing of feeling left out because I'm sure everyone's going to be posting about their sororities and I'm excited to hopefully be a part of one if it feels right when I informally rush I just didn't want to feel like I was forcing a decision you know I don't know a lot of it is just kind of like a lottery almost I definitely think that everything happens for a reason and I definitely was super upset about this yesterday so don't think I'm just like taking it like a champ because I'm definitely not there has been a lot of like hard moments throughout this process even this is just a very vulnerable thing to share it's like kind of hard to admit to like a whole bunch of people that like yeah I ended up dropping it because I just didn't really feel confident with like the two choices I had left and I didn't feel like I really would like love my my place and I wanted to make sure that if I'm going to be spending that kind of money on a sorority I want to make sure that it's worthwhile and that I really feel confident in that decision so and I know obviously I didn't have to share this online I don't have to like post this video or anything it's totally my decision but I just really wanted to be like transparent and I wanted to show that sometimes sorority rush is not all that it seems because I feel like what's shown is definitely like the super fun like everything goes well you get into the one you want and then it's a whole party at the end and you're so excited but there's so many people that I've talked to that have dropped this process I actually just met a girl yesterday who she was in the exact same boat as me and she ended up dropping too a ton of people drop and it's just like not the side that really is shown and so I guess I just wanted to show that there are other options as well and it's okay to drop out of the process and do informal rush and like it has its downsides I'm not gonna get a big day like everyone but like I'm gonna end up where I'm meant to be and even if I like try to informally rush or decide against it or I don't like the ones that I like talk to when I do the informal rush process then I'm still gonna end up where I'm meant to be there are plenty of clubs and opportunities at UVA but it'll be okay trying to stay positive and trying to like just I don't know, be a good role model for you guys and like let you know that you know it is okay and it will be okay so it is the morning after which means that it is monday the day right after bid day and it definitely sucks it sucks having to see like everyone post on their stories of like woohoo we're in our sorority now like everyone's in their matching outfits and it just really like stings i guess because even though i like made that decision for that to happen for me not to like get a bid it just like again it stings i like literally have been waiting over a year now to like be a part of this to get that bid day moment and so it just like stinks to like see that moment that i was like looking forward to for so long just like so close but yet so far and i know i made that decision and i don't regret that decision because even though it is so hard to see that and not be a part of that i also know that i don't think i would have been happy in the two sororities that i had left that i could have gotten a bid from by dropping and not getting a bid i'm able to informally rush which is like cobbing c-o-b it stands for continuous open bidding and so i could technically join a sorority in the next like week or two or whenever they open it and like this spring or even in the fall i could do it so it just like gives me more opportunity it's not as like fun and exciting as like formal rushing like in this vlog like with bid day and everything I think all you do is you kind of like meet up with one of the girls and you just like kind of talk to them for an hour And they kind of just decide if they want you or not, but not every sorority does it It kind of depends on if they have space. I don't know I guess I just wanted to show like it doesn't always go as planned because I definitely would not have expected this I don't remember my last update, but it's now Monday, February 7th, which is just over a week since bid day. That was on January 30th. Originally, my Pai Kai had told me that the ISC would be like emailing out information for the informal rush process. And so I was just kind of like waiting along to hear like that announced info. And then I found out that one of my friends actually just got an informal rush bid from one of the sororities last night. So I was like, holy crap, I guess we're having to like go behind the scenes and reach out to the sororities ourselves, which like I thought we might be able to do, but like my Pai Kai I was like no just wait for like the isc information so i was just kind of like waiting just in case and now i'm kind of like regretting that i wish like she had maybe <laughs> said like you have to like reach out to sororities so i started reaching out to sororities i have like five or six sororities that i am like in the works with like talking to about potentially informally rushing two of them i have scheduled meetings for tomorrow and wednesday and then the isc which is like the international sorority council by the way they sent out an email saying that four sororities are doing the informal rush process and only one 
one of them is one that like I am in the works with so those ones must be like the ones that have like a lot more space so I guess like the way to go about it is definitely to reach out to the individual sororities I wish I had done it sooner I'm just like excited to maybe finally be a part of a sorority um and I guess I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope for the best If I sound sick right now, it's because I'm getting over a cold. It's not COVID, I tested negative. I've also been crying, if you couldn't tell, so that doesn't help. This is really scary to share on the internet, but I also want to be open and honest while still protecting my privacy. I really am tired of crying. I think we all know that with COVID and everything, it has been a lonely time been hard for a lot of people and I feel very lucky that it hasn't affected me so greatly in comparison to other people because I know so many people have had it so much worse but I also have just I feel like it's taken a lot away from my college years of just meeting people and connecting with people you know I have friends but I just I feel like I it's it's just I don't know it's just not what I had expected I guess I was just really looking forward to joining a sorority because I thought that it would like solve my problems and if I'm being honest it just if anything has really hurt my ego. I don't know like the reasons that like some sororities might not have wanted me. I know it's just probably a big numbers thing but also you can't help but think that maybe it's something more than that. I feel like I went in like feeling very confident myself thinking I'd end up where I was meant to be and that I would like meet new people and finally get out of this rut that COVID has thrown us in and now I'm here and I'm not in a sorority and the formal rush process didn't work out for me or the formal one didn't even hurt and I don't want pity I don't want people to be like oh like I'll be your friend oh I'm so sorry like I know everything happens for a reason and I know I'm like still worthy of friends and I know that I I know that I matter but it doesn't mean that it doesn't still hurt right now and I just I just think I'm tired I put a lot of expectations on myself and, and I guess I just expect people to like return some of like what I put out into the world. I feel like I really try to put so much goodness out into the world and I feel like I just don't always get a lot of that back. I think I just need to build myself back up. And I'm so glad that I have a few people in my life that I can really rely on and that are there for me. But again, like this process has just really made me doubt myself in a lot of ways. And even though I recognize that those people love me no matter what, it still makes me feel like I don't deserve that. And so I think I just need to spend some time with myself. Just reminding myself that it'll be okay and that I am capable and that, I don't know, just get back to where I used to be. Sorry that was dramatic, but... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the world just keeps on spinning. Not my sunburn. Oh my god. Hey guys, it is March 19th, literally for a month later. So I'm definitely sunburned. Um, I was outside for literally less than an hour the other day and I didn't realize I would be sunburned because it wasn't that sunny. Also, my hair is slightly more blonde than it was in the last clips. Anyway, I just wanted to do like a little check-in kind of thing to show that I am alive and well. Like obviously, Rush kind of took a toll on me, but we're working through that. Please don't worry too much. Um, I just wanted to like have this video as like a way to show like another side of rush that isn't always shown on the internet so that if you were to like have a similar experience as me you don't feel quite as alone please be kind in the comments because this took a lot for me to upload clearly i've been like waiting to upload it for literally over a month now but yeah that's all for this really really long video and thanks so much if you watched it all